Hey everyone, welcome back to Pavli. So guys, in this video, you will be learning how you can instantly and automatically deliver a PDF course file to your customer on WhatsApp whenever they purchase your course from WooCommerce. So guys, here you can see we have created an automation for this purpose. You can see on my screen now that this will be the flow of this automation here as and when your course is going to be purchased from your WooCommerce store a course file in the uh, in form of PDF will be delivered to the customer on the WhatsApp automatically. So you do not have to see who is purchasing your course and you do not have to manually send these files. So it will surely save your time. It will improve your productivity and as well as it will make your customers happy. So guys here we are using Pabli connect application to make this happen, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is anyone can use this automation because you can set up this automation in just few simple steps without any coding knowledge. So guys, now let's set up this automation together. So to set up this automation, guys, you have to reach the dashboard of Pavli connect application and to reach here, you can use this link pavli.com slash connect. And from here, you can set up your free Pavli connect account by clicking on this sign up free button and you will get hundred free automation tasks for every new month. Okay. So sign up right now and then log into each here on the dashboard of Pabli Connect. And guys, here you have to create a workflow of automation for that. Just click on this create workflow button. And here you can give a suitable name to this workflow. So here I am giving the name as WooCommerce to WhatsApp automation. Okay. <clears throat> So after giving the name like this, you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will see the trigger and the action. So this automation is going to work on these two things only. So the trigger here is that is that event which is going to trigger or make this workflow know that it is time to run and the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in this use case, the trigger would be receiving of an order in WooCommerce store and the action towards that trigger would be to send a PDF file or the course file on WhatsApp account of your customer. So first of all, you need to set up the trigger. So from this choose app field, choose a trigger application as WooCommerce. So here it is. You can see you can select it like this. Okay. And in the trigger event, guys, you have to select new order created option. Okay. And it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL guys. And with the help of this, we are going to make a connection with our WooCommerce store by following these steps written here. And with the help of that connection, we are going to capture the response of any new order here in our workflow. Okay. So guys, to make this connection, let me show you. This is my WordPress application and here is WooCommerce. And under the WooCommerce plugin, click on settings here. And under the settings page, click on this advanced tab. And under the advanced tab, you will find this webhooks option here. Click on it. All right. And here guys, under this page, you have to click on this add webhook button. Okay. And here you can give a name to this webhook connection. So here I'm giving the name uh, as course PDF. That's it. You can give any name according to you. And here now you have to change the status of this connection as active. Here in the topic, you have to select the topic as order created. Okay. And in the delivery URL field, you have to copy this URL and paste it. So just click on copy from here, go to WooCommerce settings and paste the URL here. Okay. And leave these two things blank uh, as it is. Okay. And now click on save webhook button and you can see your webhook connection is getting saved here. Okay. So the webhook data get you can see updated successfully. Now you can see here as you have add the webhook, it will show you this webhook ID here in this response. Okay. Now guys, it is time to capture the response of this connection that you have made with WooCommerce. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this recapture webhook response button and it will start showing waiting for the response. And then we are going to create a test purchase of the course that we are selling on WooCommerce. And we are going to manually create a test purchase and the, uh, and the data of that test purchase will be captured here in this workflow. 
and with the help of that test data we are going to move forward okay so click on recapture button click on yes okay here you can see it started showing waiting for the response now I have opened my store page here you can see in this window and here you can see this is my store page and here I am selling this PHP for beginners course so I am adding this product to cart and I have created this course and saved it in a PDF file okay so here guys uh, let me click on proceed to check out all right and here let me give a demo name of any demo customer so the first name is demo only last name is name company name is optional let it be and here let me fill in some demo details again and here let me fill the whatsapp number of a demo customer like this okay here let me fill the demo email address also alright so after filling the details like this just click on place order and place your order so this is a test purchase we are making guys this is not an actual purchase you can also make this test purchase and capture the data so you can see it is showing thank you your order has been received okay so this is the cash and delivery method so we have created this order let us check in our workflow if we got the data captured of this order and here you can see the data is captured in the response it is showing the id and the currency and here you can see the date of the order and here you can see the price the name of the customer the address the phone number and all the things are captured here like this okay right so that's how you can uh, capture the data of a test purchase guys okay and in this purchase you can see we have the name of the course as well now guys uh, i want to share the pdf file of this course on the whatsapp account of this customer who has just made this made made this purchase but guys i have many products on woocommerce not just a course okay but i want to share the file as and when the course is purchased i do not want to share anything when this t-shirt is purchased or this mic is purchased okay so to ensure this that we uh, deliver the file on the purchase of this course only i am going to apply this condition here in this workflow using this action action step so from here i am going to apply condition using a filter feature of pavli and here you can see by this filter here it is asking to select the label in the filter type and put a value here so here i'm i'm going to use this test data and in this test data we have received this line item name label in which we got the name of the product so here i'm going to select this label in this filter so just click here and it will show the previous step in the drop down so from this step only you can get all the data that you have received in the first step so from here scroll down to find the line item label name okay so here you can see we got this line item name label so just map it from here make the filter type equals to and put in this value label value field the name of the course or the product that you are selling just copy this name and paste it here in this value field in the filter okay now click on save and send test request and you can see the condition is true this means whenever the name of the line item is equal to php for beginners then only send a file this is what it means so when this condition matches true then only the 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 workflow will continue and we will send a file so to send a file on whatsapp now just click here on this plus icon and from the section step connect with whatsapp and to connect with whatsapp we need to have the access of whatsapp's api so we are going to use whatsapp's own cloud api platform to make this connection so first of all you need to connect your whatsapp number with the cloud api of uh, whatsapp and guys if you want to know how to connect with whatsapp's cloud api you can watch the video from the description where we have clearly explained how to use cloud api platform for your business okay and after that you can use the feature here so from here search for whatsapp's cloud api select it and here in the action event select send template message option then click on connect and from here select add new connection option if you're making the connection for the very first time with the cloud api okay and here it is asking for the token of your cloud api setup 
the phone number id and the business account id details so if you want to know more about these things and making the connection with the pabli connect you just can click here on this here word written in blue and you will reach the forum page of pabli and here you will find uh, these two videos first on uh, setting up the whatsapp cloud api inside pabli connect and how to generate a permanent access token of cloud api and here you will find the steps along with the screenshots to educate you on how to make the connections with the cloud api setup inside pabli connect in the trigger or in the action okay and to find these things guys i can show you my cloud api setup which is here so i am under meta for developers page here i have created an app and i am under whatsapp's getting started page and here you can see we have this temporary access token so first they gave you temporary access tokens but these tokens expires in 24 hours so you need to generate a permanent access token and if you want to know how to do that you can watch the videos from the description or you can watch the video from the forum page okay and guys after generating the token you have to paste the token here in this field and you will find the phone number id here like this you can just copy it and paste it here and you will find the business account id also just copy it and paste it here all right and guys generating the permanent access token is a one-time task you have to keep the token safe because you can use the same tokens in future also for making the connection okay and guys making the connection by this process is also a one-time process because this connection that you are making here by selecting new connection option is going to be saved in your account and after that if you want to make the connection again in a different workflow you can use that same first existing connection as i have already made many connections with my cloud api setup you can see this is connection number 49 okay so i can use my existing connections let me show you here you can see we have the select existing connection option just click on it and here it will ask to select your previous connections and it will show you the list of the previous connections that you have from here you can choose any of your previous connection here let me choose uh, this one okay and now i can click on save and you can see we are getting connected again so need not to fill anything again and again okay so here it is asking now for temp for the templates name or the message templates name so guys message templates are pre-created standard message structures that you need to create beforehand and after that you can select the templates here to send messages on whatsapp to many people at once okay so guys you can see uh, this is my message template section and these are the templates I have created and the template I am using for this purpose is this one uh, course file on order this so this is the template I am using for this purpose guys named as course file on order and this is the preview of the message that we are going to send so when you choose this template the message will look like this to your customer on whatsapp and here you can see here in the header the course file will be attached and here it reads hi akib thank you for choosing php for beginners this is just a sample name of any person and you can directly download the course from the above attachment for more details you can visit the website okay so this is how it is going to look like on whatsapp and if you want to know how to create such message templates you can watch the video from the description and we have teach, taught everything about creation of the template and you can also notice here this is the body box and in this body box you can type the main text that you want to send on whatsapp and here we have this one in double curly braces two and three so these are the variable text or the body fields of this message template and this means that you can change three things inside your message every time you message you send the message via the workflow okay so here we can change the name of the person here we can change the product's name here we can change the website address okay so if you want to use the template for multiple purposes you have to place these body fields here and you can watch the video from the description and you can know how to place body fields how to create a template okay and after that you can select a template from this list so my template is this one i'm selecting this course file and order okay and after selecting the template you have to enter the recipient's mobile number or the whatsapp number of your customer here so guys we have received the test data of our customer and our test purchase here like this and in this test data we have received a phone number labeled 2 in which we have the test 
whatsapp number here it is okay so i'm going to map this label here in this tab guys so to map the label just click here and from this woocommerce tab map this billing number label okay so when you map the data here like this the numbers are going to change automatically with every new order and a new message will be delivered to the new customer now it is asking for the header document url so as i have shown you that we have a header inside the message template and in that header we can attach the course file so to uh, to send the course file you have to paste the link of that course file here in this header document url so guys i have created and uploaded my course file on my wordpress website here it is let me show you okay so i'm just going to copy this course files link and i'm going to paste it here and here you can give a name to this document also so here i am giving the name as php course file okay right and now it is asking for these body field one two and three so as i have told you previously that in this message we can change three things automatically and dynamically with every new message so to get the data changed automatically you need to map the values of these three body fields here inside your workflow so let's map the data so first body field is for the name of the person so from this first step i am mapping the name of the customer okay this is the first name label let me map the full name okay here you can put the name of your product so here i'm putting php for beginners so right now i have the single product so let us map this data also i have received the data from the first step and here you will find the product's name as well uh, when you scroll down you will find the product's name here in the line item labels okay so here is the line item label map it and here you can put your website address so here i'm putting my website address you can change it according to you and the thing that you are putting here manually is not going to change so this website address will remain the same that is completely okay and these labels that you are mapping here are going to change with every new order okay so this is how you can map it and now you can check your connection with whatsapp by clicking on save and send test request and a test message will be delivered to this whatsapp number so this is not an actual whatsapp number here i am going to put my whatsapp number just to show you the demo you have to map the label here but i am going to show you the demo by putting my number here then i'll click on save and send test request and let me show you how the message is going to look like so guys i have clicked on save and send test request and this is a message i have received on whatsapp you can see uh, this is a new message and it is showing hi demo name thank you for choosing php for beginners from our website you can down directly download the course from the attachment and in place of the body fields you can see we got the demo name placed the course files placed the course name placed and the website address placed automatically that's how it is going to work okay so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once guys after that you don't have to do anything manually here in the workflow after that as and when any customer is going to purchase your course from your store the whatsapp message will be delivered to uh, the person automatically with the help of this automation and you can use this same workflow because i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly.